friends. Welcome to Bedside Medicine. In today's lesson we will learn about mucormycosis. Mucormycosis formerly known as zygomycosis is a type of fungal infection. It's relatively rare but is very serious. This infection tends to occur most often if you have weakened immunity from an illness or health condition. It's important to get treatment. If left untreated, mucormycosis can be fatal. Symptoms of mucormycosis Mucormycosis presents itself as either a respiratory or a skin infection. Signs of a related sinus or respiratory infection may include cough, fever, headache, nasal congestion, sinus pain. With a skin infection, mucormycosis can develop within any part of your body. It may initially occur at the site of skin trauma, but it can quickly spread to another area. Be on the lookout for symptoms such as blackened skin, tissue blisters, fever, redness, swelling, tenderness, ulcers. What causes mucormycosis? Mucormycosis is caused by exposure to mucormite molds. These organisms occur in leaves, soil, rotting wood. You can contract mucormycosis by breathing in affected mold spores in the air. This is referred to as a sinus exposure. In turn, you may develop the infection in your central nervous system, eyes, face, lungs, sinuses. The fungus can also infect your skin via a cut or burn. In such cases, the wound or burn ends up becoming the area of infection. While these types of molds can naturally occur in the environment, not everyone exposed will get the fungal infection. You may be at an increased risk of contracting this type of infection if you have a weakened immune system. Conditions that may increase your risk include burns, cuts and scrapes, cancer, recent organ transplant, HIV or AIDS, diabetes, surgery, complications. Mucormycosis is particularly dangerous because it spreads quickly throughout the body. Left untreated, the infection can spread to the lungs or the brain. This can cause a brain infection, paralysis, pneumonia, seizures, death, treatment. The first steps in treating mucormycosis are receiving intravenous antifungal medications and having surgical debridement. Surgical debridement involves cutting away all infected tissue. Removing infected tissue has been shown to prevent the infection from spreading further. If you respond well to four therapy and tissue removal, your doctor will likely remove your four and give you oral medications to take. Common antifungal medications that your doctor may prescribe for mucormycosis include amphotericin B, posiconazole, isabiconazole.